the night before Christmas when all through the house not, not a, a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hope St Nicholas soon will be there. The children were nestled or snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and the good chief and I and my cat had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there was right such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the wind where I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a lust of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his calls as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, now dash it, now dance it, now prancer and vixen, on comet, on cupid, on downer and blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and Saint Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof as I drew my hand and was turning around. Down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight to his teeth, and the smoke curtains circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump and a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh as his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.